we're going to write steel wool. Steel wool. I have a cup. You can just start this in reaction too. Steel wool. I've got a cup. I have vinegar. I have a piece of paper. And I have a thermometer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the steel wool in my cup. I'm going to add some vinegar. I'm going to let it sit for like a minute. So is there any ideas of what you think might happen? It'll change the color of the water. Change the color of the water. Steel wool. Pardon? Steel wool. Yeah. Oh, move it. I got it. So I have a thermometer out, so what's a good guess? It's going to heat up. Yeah. 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 They just need to write materials and any observations. Okay. So it's been about a minute. So I'm going to take this out. I'm going to squeeze the extra vinegar off. And I'm going to put the thermometer with the steel wool. And stick it in the beaker. so that I can make sure I keep the heat in. Okay, now I just need it to take the temperature. So right now it says 22. So put starting temperature 22. Now we're just going to wait for a couple more minutes and see if anything changes. So what are some predictions of what you think is going to happen? It's going to be like 30. 30. It's going to turn into like 30. It's going to start on fire. Any suggestions from over here? Nice observation there, Michaela. So she said it's probably not going to start on fire because I'm holding my hand over it. Okay, so it just moved up to 23. So what's happening to it? It's heating up. What what's heating up? Steel wool. Steel wool. Why do you think it's heating up? So what happened to it? 24. So what's happening is the temperature inside the beaker is gradually rising. You might notice that the beaker is getting a little bit foggy. Ours isn't getting too foggy, but there's a little bit of condensation around the side. When you soak the steel wool in vinegar, it removes the protective coating of the steel wool and allows the iron in the steel to rust. Rusting is a, what kind of reaction? Chemical, Chemical reaction between iron and oxygen. This chemical reaction creates heat, which increases the temperature inside the beaker. So, what's our evidence of chemical change? Heat. heat. And 
it's at 26 right now. So can you see there's kind of a little bit of fogginess around the sides? Take this out. So if I take this out now, you can see that there's a little bit of rust forming around. Can you see that, or should I come walk around? Come walk around. Okay, come walk around. So there's rust forming around the seal. 